five, four, three, two, one. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How you guys doing? I'm good. How are you? No, them. They're good too. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the House of Rest Church. Before we're a church, we are a family. family. Yes. And we have a seat with your name on it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, remember, you don't have the mic. I know. We're sitting on this side because on that side, there's actually some tables set up. For paint night. For paint night. Should I show them? Yeah, you can show them. Wait. I don't see the thing that lets me flip it. Why? I don't know. That's weird. It is weird. Oh, well. Just trust us. They're set up. <laughs> my my set head up. looks shiny. I know. It does. Like Mr. Clean. I know. I should put you to clean right now. It's clean in here. Yeah, it is really clean. But it's, uh, it's late night, guys. So, once again. Another mission accomplished. So, we're here. We're yeah. actually heading home right now. But it's already... 10 something. Let me look at the time. It's almost 11 o'clock. Oh, it's 1047, guys. Yeah. So it was either, there's no way we're going to be able to do a video when we get home. It's really late. So we're like, man, let's jump on right now mm -hmm. and already apologize for not doing a devotional, basically. Yeah. I have not been home at all. They yeah. picked me up from work and we had to get straight to doing some stuff. A long mission. Yeah. So. so it's 1047, it takes us about 30 minutes to get home, and by the time we settle in, yeah, it's going to be late, guys. Yeah. So, um, but we did want to say good morning to you guys, um, and we will see you tomorrow for a devotional, a full devotional, hmm. five hours of devotion. And an awesome Bible study on no. just... Oh no, oh my god, my days are so mixed up. By the way, it's Monday night for us, it's Tuesday morning for you guys. See you guys? See? You see what so, happens? And, oh. what? That's good, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I remember um, Tony A was telling me that with his daughter. Mm. You know, and uh, I haven't talked to Tony A in a few days. I know. Yeah, hopefully he's doing good, but. Anyways, guys, we're here, and uh, we're about to leave. We saw uh, Johnny and Diana for a little bit. Mm -hmm. They had to help us do some maneuvering around here. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to head home, and we just wanted to say hi to you guys. Yes, and wish you guys a, a beautiful, blessed day. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I actually, you know what I would actually really like to talk about? Um, remember I told you that I, I had a gentleman... Uh, call my work and talk about um, his name. Oh yeah. And and well, it wasn't his name. You yeah. said it was. Well, no. well, that was his name. That was his name. I thought he was trying to tell you the street name. He didn't know how to spell his own name. No, I didn't. He kept oh. he kept spelling his name in Spanish, and I was like, "What's your name?" And he said, "You know." He kept telling me his name, and I'm like, "You couldn't hear the letters." Or? No, because he was broken Spanish. And he kept his, his Spanish was broken. Yes, his Spanish. I mean, his English was. Oh, sorry. I was like, oh my God! Then so why yeah, don't you just talk in English? That's how tired I am, guys. <laughs> his English was really broken, and you know, and and I kept telling him, "Can you repeat that again?" And so he says, "It's like the name of the Bible," and I'm like, "Me lo puede decir otra vez, por favor?" And so I, I was just maybe because I was tired. From but you yesterday. know the alphabet in Spanish. Babe, I do, but uh -huh. he was speaking so fast and broken. Oh. He was almost like a Spanglish. But, you know, and I so. just told him, can you just text it to, you know? And yeah. finally, when he texted it, I was like, huh. So, you know, when we were on our drive, I decided to just look it up in the Bible. And I was just really intrigued with, you know, the story in the Bible, of course, you know, because... I remember, I remembered it, and I was like, that's when I started talking to you more about it, and mm -hmm. I, I just thought it was really cool, because not very many people talk about it very much. It's not very, it's not mentioned much, you know? Yeah. I don't hear very many well, there's people no, talk about it. there's no huge significance, it. because... It's not, but I mean, it's, it's nice when you can just hear more. She's talking about the tribes of Israel, because yeah. you know how everybody brings up 
Judah, obviously, because mm-hmm. Jesus bloodline. Of course. Uh, people bring up Levi because mm-hmm. of the Levitical because priesthood. Of the Levitical priest, yeah. People bring up Benjamin because Samuel was from Benjamin, and mm-hmm. not only that, the Apostle Paul was a Benjamite. So there's certain tribes that get mentioned a they whole lot more. They get mentioned a lot more, but then, you know... You... Some tribes don't. Mm-hmm. So I, I, re- I would really just like to, you know, because it, it'd be nice, you know, to just, you know, talk about different things. Yeah. You know what's interesting is, you guys know all the 12 tribes came from the sons of Judah. Mm-hmm. And what I never did was, if you read when every time a son was born, the mother of the... Because he had four wives. He, was, he had two wives, and then he ended up marrying their each of their servants. So the Bible says which sons were of each one. Mm-hmm. And each time a son is born, there's a prophetic word given. I'm interested. You made me interested in saying, you know what? I'm going to write down wife one, wife two, wife three, wife four, and then the son's names and each prophetic word given to each son, and then see how each tribe ended up. That'd be... Yeah, because yeah, just, it, just, it kind of gave you a little genealogy of this one. Yeah, you know? and it's just interesting stuff. That's the kind of stuff, guys, I fill up my brain with. And then it just jumbles around. <laughs> but know, that would be interesting to Yeah, do. yeah, it really, really would. Yeah. You know, I, I think I became really, really interested when um, when you had the, the Levite, I guess, you know, when the story of the Levite and the concubine mm-hmm. whole thing came about, you know, and... I think I think that's when when it really really intrigued me when you know it was a Levite. Yeah, it was it was it was a Levite. You talking about the, the book of Judges? Yeah, in I the didn't book of Judges, it was, it was Judges nineteen because oh, he forgot. didn't he didn't have a place to rest his head, you know, and it was the old man that took him in, and it was the you know the story of the Levite and the concubine. I got to read it again. It's been yeah, so long. it's 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 you know a story because it was one of the first atrocities that took place when he cut her body up into into twelve, and he began to actually send pieces of her body to the different tribes, you know. So it was. Mm-hmm. It was a story. They're that, just like what? Yeah, it, you guys. You know, um, to me, you know, just reading that. If if you read from you know beginning of that and the end of that, there's it, you just read it and there's a significance to that. And maybe one day I would like to go back into that and to really talk about that because there's a purpose for it. It, it and later on, if you read, you know, ahead of that and after that, there's a purpose for it. So, yeah, one day we're going to talk about that, you know, so, but guys, right now we're not going to talk about it because we are tired. We're going to get home and, um, yeah, so. All right, guys. We love so you have guys. a good day. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. We will have a full devotional. Uh, yes. Tomorrow's not too busy for us. Just a little bit busy during the middle of the day. But uh, well, for you, for me, I got a, I got a lot to get done. <laughs> so, um, but all right, guys. All right, bye, guys. Bye.